Good morning. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 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 It's Thursday. Hashtag my global family. This is Drea Beta, Coyote walking in this world of real life as Slato Pablo superhero and brand new business family life coach. <laughs> Do you need your own personal superhero, your own cheer person who's going to help support you through your adventures? I think so. This coyote never does anything alone, family. Never alone, always with family. <laughs> so if you need someone in your corner, let me know, family. <laughs> I have weekly um, meetings. I'll do check-ins with you, family, um, to see how you're doing with your goals. We will do some planning for your mind, body, and spirits. Maybe some financial planning and some professional or academic goals. I'm just saying, family, this coyote provides full services. So I'm just saying, if you're looking for concierge services to help you organize your life and get ready for 2023, Hit up this coyote. Just say, family, what can't we do together? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I am also trying to plan for success, family. You know, this coyote is not an early bird. Let's be honest. I do not wake up early. <laughs> but you know what? I work late into the night. So I exchange my mornings for the evenings. And that's okay, family, because I figured out a plan that works for me. What works for you, family? Mm -hmm. Are you a morning person? Like the love of my life? No joke, family. He gets up at 5.30 every morning. He runs and does some cardio. He gets ready and he is at work in town at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I'm just saying, family, if our livelihood depended on this coyote getting up early, not happening. <laughs> Not happening. What about you? When do you guys get up? When do you feel the most productive? Are you a morning person? Are you an evening person? Are you like, don't talk to me before 2 p.m.? <laughs> what makes you tick, family? Drop it in the comment. Let me know. Let's do a poll. When are you most productive? Are you a morning person? An afternoon person? Or are you like this coyote and you like to burn the midnight oil? I'm just saying, family, as a researcher, professional advocate, Ivy League graduate, PhD candidate, and soon to be Dr. Dre family, I'm 41. I have used lots of strategies throughout my life, but I feel like I finally got a good handle on things. So join me, family. How are we going to set ourselves up for success? <laughs> In addition, I have also lost 110 pounds, family. Yep, yep. This coyote. <coughs> Wait a minute, family. <coughs> Let me lose it for a second. <coughs> I'm taking too much smoke. <laughs> and I was trying to talk and cough at the same time. Talking and coughing at the same time do not work, family. <laughs> Join me, family. Who else is smoking a bowl right now? Anyone else? Who's joining this coyote? <laughs> Medical marijuana saved my life, family. I have anxiety, depression, panic attacks, and PTSD. But every day, I still get up in the morning and prove that people with disabilities can be real-life superheroes. I am a published author and international graduate student leader, and I have secured $187,000 in funding for the communities I have served over the last six years. Yeah, I'm pretty much a badass family. <laughs> you guys see the cute Dre who does yoga and smokes weed and trains in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? But I started my career family with an amazing youth group called Loud, leaders organizing to unite and decriminalize. And these kids, they were kids family, taught me what it meant to be an activist and a revolutionary. They called me out from the sidelines and they're like, if you're not an activist, then who is? 
And I was like, damn, snap. <laughs> Called out by some high schoolers family. But they knew what was up. They knew that the world needed some change and that the adults in it were not doing, not doing our part, not being fair to the youth who are being thrown away in the school to prison pipeline. So family, join me in being and role modeling the change we need in this world. Always with hope, family. Always with hope. It's two, 2023, and it's a brand new year filled up with opportunities. What are your hopes, family? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? And how are we going to get there? I am always about plotting for world domination and making sure that I'm organized. I got a plan. I got a to-do list. I got a family who will help support me in my shenanigans. Because let's be honest, family, no person is an island, right? We all live in a society and our actions do affect others, whether or not we want to believe it. So I'm just saying, family, when I walk through this world, I try to do it with kindness, with love, and always guided by hope. Join me in making a difference, family. <laughs> Drop in the comments, family. Drop it in the comments. What are your hopes and dreams for the brand new year? And how can this coyote help support you with your goals? All right, family. It's time. It's time. Don't forget. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we do chair yoga for elders. Monday is wheelchair yoga. Wednesday, it is yoga at our desk. It's a quick and dirty one that you can do at lunchtime. And Fridays, we do chair yoga for elders. So family, I'm just saying, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you got to have 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes for a better you. Because I'm just saying, family, when we stretch a little bit, when we do our neck exercises, when we have our moment of Zen and peace, where we clear our head, it helps feed our soul as well. Not only our bodies, not only giving us peace of mind, but it feeds our spirit as well. What do you do, family? Share your tips, share your knowledge, share your secrets with this coyote's family. What do you do to keep sane and to keep balanced? Drop those comments, drop those links. Mwah! All right, family, on Tuesdays and Thursdays though, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, chair yoga. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do floor yoga for beginners. I'll admit, it's a tiny bit challenging, family, but I believe in you. I think you can do it with me. What do you think? Do you accept this coyote's challenge? <laughs> Let's do this, family. Let's do this. Don't forget new time change, family. I am trying to set up for success, acknowledging fully that I do not wake up early in the morning. So instead of us uh, setting unrealistic goals of shooting at 730 and then beating up myself every time I'm late, just going to set a new goal, family, setting myself up for success. So I'll be seeing you around 830. <laughs> All right, let's get this done, family. Let us get our yoga done. It's yoga to heal stress today. And family, real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick, one more hit. <laughs> before we go down to the floor, before we go down to the mat, you will want a pillow. So if you have a pillow, family, at the end of this yoga tape, it's here, yoga to heal stress, we use a pillow. We kind of cuddle with it. It's one of my favorites. So I'm saying, family, go get your pillow real quick while I take one more hit. <laughs> family, give me a shout out if you're joining me with your morning smoke. I'm saying it's 420 somewhere. <laughs> Don't forget, family, this is medical marijuana that saved my life. I am a survivor of rape and molestation as a ramification of any boarding schools, of police brutality in 2008, and taking out a white male predator um, in academia in 2018. Since I have taken a mantle in international graduate student leadership, I have also faced the police in the last two years during protest. So I'm just saying, family, we can transform the world, but yoga can help keep us sane. All right, let's do this. Only my darling friend 
let's begin today's practice in extended child's pose. So if extended child's pose is not awesome for you, you can just start today's practice in a nice, comfortable seat of your choice. Benji has selected this shape. You can select your shape to really just get comfortable and find your breath and tune in because today's practice is, of course, an invitation to really look at the ways in which we might be stressed and understand and remember that we always have an opportunity to tend to that, to circle back to that awareness and eventually to heal from that so that we don't um, get really sick. Okay, but let's not worry about all that for now. Let's start with just tuning into the breath in an effort to bring more loving awareness to our life. Shall we? In your comfortable seat, in your Benji pose, or if you want to join me in extended child's pose, take a second to get settled in. And once you're there, right away, bring your awareness or your attention to your breath. And really, don't skimp out on yourself uh, here. Right away, listen. What's it like today? Is the breath shallow? Is it hard? Remarkably, sometimes it's hard to breathe. And let this invitation to focus inward on your breath, let it do its thing. Invite more presence into the body by allowing one moment to simply bleed into the next. So you start by noticing the quality of your breath, but then that might inspire you to reach the arms a little wider, to notice if you feel a bit tired, to notice if you actually wanted like a fiery practice today, but you find yourself here, maybe you can trust that you might need this too. Now gently begin to deepen the breath. Notice the thoughts that come up here. And you know what to do, but I'll just remind you as those thoughts come up, because they will, it's just a matter of if it's five times or 500 times in our practice here today, as the thoughts come up, acknowledge them notice them, and then return back to your breath. And that's the dance that we'll practice. That's the dance that we aim to get good at. Continue to gently deepen your breath. Notice how you feel. Is there love in your heart today? Or are you tender hearted? And yes, of course you can be both. And if you're like, I just wanna chill my nervous system, get a nice little stretch in, that's great too. Wherever you are, Take one more cycle of breath to really land. And then slowly we'll carve a line with the nose to look forward and ever so slowly press to the tops of the feet and from your heart lift forward. Walk the knees underneath the chest. I said, just walk the knees underneath the hips. Sorry, I got distracted because what I wanted to tell you was after you walk the knees underneath your hips, carve a line with your nose to look to the screen and look at Benji's paw in my hand. He's my favorite, Benji. All right, now bring your gaze straight down. <clears throat> Spread the fingertips evenly. Walk your wrists underneath your shoulders. 
Let's move with the breath. So synchronize the breath with the movement, the movement with the breath here. As you inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward. Broaden through the back of the neck, so careful not to crunch. Then exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Really create a contraction in the center of your being as you broaden through the upper back body. Let the neck kind of hang here, the head be heavy. And then here we go. On an inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, let your heart open forward, forward, forward. And then exhale, tailbone goes down, chin to chest, breathe out. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Inhale, claw through the fingertips, open the chest. Exhale, claw through the fingertips, navel draws up. Inhale, last time, drop the belly. Exhale, chin to chest. And now just take it off the railroad tracks a little bit here, bumping the hips a little left to right, finding a soft or generous bend in your elbow. Checking in with your hips, your shoulders, just kind of going freestyle a little bit here today and see if you can soften your gaze and Start to move with the sound of your breath. You can curl the toes under here, check in with the feet, check in with the neck. Get a little freaky here. Find what feels good. And then bring it back to tabletop position, nice neutral spine. And we're gonna slowly press the left foot into the ground, curl the right toes under and send the right toes out. Right heel really reaches, extends back, and you're gonna to work to press into your right pinky toe so that your right ball and socket can really get snugly here. Right thigh bone, femur down towards the ground. Then rock front and rock back, rock front and rock back. Then the next time you rock front, you're gonna drop your elbows exactly where your hands are, interlace, hands were, then interlace the fingertips out in front. So now I'm on my forearms. Good. You're going to lift the right toes now, bend the right knee, press into your left foot firmly. Careful not to collapse into the shoulders here. And then baby pulses here with the right foot up towards the sky, breathing deep. Baby pulses. Gaze straight down, lifting the right knee, waking up the body so we're building a little bit of heat, but nice and low to the ground mindfully here today. Take a deep breath in, long breath out one more time, big breath in. Long breath out, release. Knee comes underneath the hip. We'll press back up to tabletop position. Press into your right foot, curl your left toes under and send your left leg out. Rock front, rock back. See if you can bring your low belly in just a bit. Hug your low ribs in. So finding that center, stretching through the fascia of the foot, the Achilles, the calf, upper arm bones rotate out. So creating space between the ears and the shoulders working to create a whole body awareness. Then the next time you rock front, connect to your center, draw the low belly in, drop your elbows where the hands were, interlace the fingertips, this time opposite thumb on top, the one that feels kind of funky. Then you're gonna press up and out of your foundation here. I'm pressing into both elbows evenly. So there's there may be a tendency to rock on your Right side, see if you can hug the midline. We'll lift the left toes, bend the left knee, and find baby pulses. Yes, this is good for your booty. Yes, this is good for your core, but we're trying to create a full body experience, right? 100% full body experience. So tuck your chin, refine, press into both knees evenly. Find your breath. If you get thrown off balance, return to the breath. Welcoming that heat. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Good, release, pop back up to the hands, bump the hips to your left, turn to look past your right, sh uh, right shoulder, yes. <laughs> come back to center, bump the hips to the right, turn to look past your left shoulder. Sweet, come back to center, place the hands mindfully, spread the fingertips evenly, index fingers pointing towards the front edge of the mat, claw through your knuckles, here we go, curl the toes under, deep breath in. With your exhale, peel the tailbone up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Find what feels good here, breathe deep. 
close your eyes. Let any stress, tension melt down the back as you continue to firmly press through your hands, working from the ground up here. Inhale in. On your next exhale, find stillness. And then slowly release to the ground. Awesome. Walk your knees up just a bit. Cross one ankle over the other. We're going to come through all the way to a nice uh, flat back position. So come on to your back. We'll join Benji here. Excellent. And then when you're ready, we're going to plant the palms <clears throat> and slowly lift the right leg up high to the sky. Good. Bend your right knee, squeeze it up towards the chest. Breathe. And take your right hand. You're going to grab either your left shin, calf, excuse me, right shin, calf, right ankle, or right big toe. If you want to use a blanket or a strap, even a dish towel works great here, you can. We're going to inhale, start to kick the right toes out towards the right side of your yoga mat. Use your left hand on the ground or on your left rib cage to slowly, slowly keep a mindfulness in the left hip. So we're opening up here. You can use a strap. You can use a towel. You can um, clasp the big toe if you can. If not, just make it your own. We want to just play a little bit here. You don't have to master the shape. Again, keep a nice firm awareness in the left thigh bone, left hip. Flex your left toes up towards the sky. And then slowly bring it back over. We're going to squeeze the right knee up towards the chest once again, and then cross it over the body, supine twist. Breathe deep here. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. And slowly come back to center, extend the right leg out, bring your hands, excuse me, extend both legs out, bring your hands back to the earth, and then keep the right leg extended uh, as you bring the left leg up. Hug the left knee into the chest, breathe. And then here we go, grabbing the left shin or calf, the left ankle, maybe grabbing that big toe or using a towel, a tie or a strap. We'll start to extend the left toes out, up and out. Breathe deep here. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. And then slowly reeling it all back into center. Keep the right leg extended. And here we go, crossing the left leg across the body, finding your supine twist here. Breathe deep. Inhale in, exhale to slowly melt it back to center. From here, you're gonna cross, you're gonna hug the knees into the chest, cross the ankles, grab the outer edges of the feet, and we're gonna rock all the way up to a seat again. Send the legs out long, Paschimottanasana. So here's where you might wanna grab your uh, pillow. I told you guys to get, I guess you forgot to Hike get the one. edge of your pillow all the way up to your hip creases. Bend your knees generously, and if you want to use more than one pillow, you can, really um, bringing the earth up to you to rest your forehead. All right, inhale in, reach for the sky. Exhale, draping forward, Prashit Mottanasana. Start with a nice bent knee, toes up towards the sky, heels in line with the hips to start. If you want to work to bring the feet together, um, that's up to you. I'm going to go feet hip width apart. Inhale, everyone look forward. Exhale to melt into the posture. So there's going to come a point here where you want to get out. See if you can layer in a depth of breath here, layer in the breath instead of coming out of the posture. See what happens.
pay attention to that moment between the inhalation and the exhalation here. Soften the skin of the forehead. Lean in. Check it out. Take five more breaths here. Count them out. Relax your shoulders. To come out of the pose, move slow. Keep the feet and the legs active. Root down through your sits bones and with soft fingers, tuck the chin and slowly roll it back up. Bring the hands together at your heart, Anjali Mudra, and just notice how you feel here, Dandasana, toes up towards the sky. Inhale in, exhale, bring your fingertips or your palms down to the earth. And just a couple seconds here to find soft, easy movement in the neck. Cool. Grab your pillow, as we say in Texas. Grab your pillow. You're going to come on to one side, your favorite side. If you have an extra pillow here, you can grab it and use it for your head or your neck. But your main pillow is going to go between your legs. Get comfy. So set yourself up for support here for our final posture, a little relaxation. When you're ready, close your eyes. Lift the corners of the mouth slightly. And once again, bring your awareness to your breath. Allow your breath to soften and just return to its natural rhythm, its natural flow here. Notice if you might be holding or clenching anywhere in the body, see if you can soften and relax that too. If it's bright in your space and you want to bring your top arm over to cover the eyes, you can do that here. And just take a second here to chill. And if you're already thinking about your next meal or your next task or your next to-do list item, that's totally normal, but that's what we want to kind of get at here today. Just notice if that's happening and back to your breath, choose to stick it out with me here on the video and with Benji. Commit to your practice. If you're feeling good here and you have nowhere to be next, you might pause the video and stay here for a little bit longer. If you're ready to rock and roll, let's slowly take a deep breath in. Use the top arm to press into the earth. Bottom arm to press our body is all the way back up. Move your pillow to the side. Bring your hands together at the heart space. Let's take one final loving inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Inhale to draw the thumbs up to the third eye. And exhale to bow. Thanks, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling family? Are you feeling good? <laughs> this coyote feels like a million bucks. <laughs> I wish. Anyone want to donate to the Obeda Share Community Foundation? Let me know, family. <laughs> uh, it is weird. Um, 
going from working in nonprofit, working in education, working as a researcher, and now trying to start my own business and start my own nonprofit um, and raise my church. <laughs> and you have to ask people for money, family. And it's very weird and awkward, but I'm gonna learn. I am gonna learn how to ask for people to invest in me because I'm worth it. Join me, family. Let's start investing in ourselves and making our dreams come true. This coyote is on a mission for my ancestors to transform this world family. I am 41, dying at 35. I was 290 pounds. I have been 220 to 290 my entire adult life. I had eye surgery family. I had kidney damage and I had nerve damage in my feet and legs. And honestly, I couldn't see a future for myself. I couldn't see myself living past 50. And that was sad family. I didn't have hope. So my gammy inspired me as she does every day. Shout out to my gammy on the wall family. That's my gammy and my uncle. And there's my gammy. And I took my life into my own hands. I had gastric bypass. I started with an elders yoga tape family. I did the same routine um, every other day. Then it was every day. And then I started mixing it up family and grew more and more confident. Now I train and compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. February 11th family, if you are free, come watch this coyote roll my sisters. I am a super heavy, meaning I'm over 175 pounds. And I am a white belt with four stripes. So my sisters and I have a great time competing and, you know, wrangling with each other to test our talents. But honestly, family, I get creamed every time, every time. And that's okay, family. I am the little coyote that runs wolves. <laughs> All my sisters uh, are about half an inch to four inches taller than I am. And the one who is around my same height has 40 pounds of muscle on me. <laughs> I'm just saying, family, be brave and be courageous. I know that I have a very slim chance of winning, but this coyote never gives up, family. So watch out, world. <laughs> I am here to make change happen. Family, don't forget, in addition to being a published author and Ivy League graduate of doctoral candidates, um, I am a blogger with 28,000 followers on seven social media platforms. I am also honored to be pastor of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Every day during the week, we have our daily prayer in which we ask our ancestors for their guidance and blessings. Join me, family for fire <laughs> there's my fire fire be careful with fire too family <laughs> i burned a hole in my stole the other day i know i gotta be more careful sorry gammy <sighs> so this week family was all about brand new beginnings transformation and hopes for the future we asked for a courageous heart to walk through the world we also asked for blessings for brand new beginnings Today, family, our very special prayer is to ask for blessings for those that we have missed. Family, COVID is still affecting all of our lives. And every single day, my global family is asking for prayers and asking for support and asking for blessings because they are losing their loved ones. Maybe it's COVID related. Maybe it is just their time and the ancestors are calling them. But there are a lot of people who are missing loved ones right now. So please, family, today our prayer is for everyone who is mourning. Anyone who is missing someone, this prayer is for you. I want you to remember to be strong, to remember that you were loved by this person that you are now mourning for, that they will never be forgotten that they will always live in your heart and that they are always watching over us just like my gammy so family if your heart is broken and you are mourning a loved one be they human or furry i want you to know this coyote is sending my prayers out to you today gammy it's our favorite trickster coyote grandchild <laughs> and today's prayer hits home 
because I miss you every day. <laughs> but I know you're watching my adventures. I know you're sending me your blessings. And I know that you're guiding my path. Gammy, today's prayer is for all of those around the world who are mourning and missing some loved ones. And Gammy, I want you to help them remember to stay strong, to remember that they are loved and that the person that they are missing is still here, that their spirit is still here guiding us, and that when we pray and when we talk to them, they are listening. Just like you're listening to me right now, Gammy. So Gammy, send blessings and send strength to all of our global family as they are in mourning for the loss of a loved one. I love you, Gammy. And every day you inspire me and give me hope. Send that to our community members. May you rest in peace. Papa, it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. <laughs> and you were the epitome of love and kindness, Papa. And every time I needed to hide from Gammy, <laughs> Every time I just needed some love or support, I ran to you. And during this time, Papa, people around the world are missing and losing their loved ones. And as we mourn them in our hearts, allow us to take courage, allow us to stay strong, and allow us to remember that as long as we talk about them, as long as we remember them, as long as we honor their memories, they will never be forgotten, and they will always be here with us. I love you, Papa. Send his strength and send his love and send his hope. May you rest in peace. And to my great great grandpa, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a sled of Pueblo statesman, to all of our aunties, uncles, gammies, those who have gone before us. This prayer is to support our family who are still here, who are mourning you because when you left us, you left a hole in our hearts. And it's going to take us a long time from healing, but that we will try to do honor to your memory. We will try to stay strong and we will give thanks and praise that you were there to love and to influence our lives. May you all rest in peace, ancestors, and send us your blessings and guidance. Family. <laughs> Ah, it's okay to cry, family. It's okay to feel emotion because the people we've lost, they meant something to us. They were important to us. <laughs> and when we miss them, when we're sad, that is human. And that is actually respecting their memory. As an indigenous person, I think about my ancestors a lot. I think about the sacrifices that my Gammy in particular made to ensure that all of her children um, had a chance in this world, in a world of colonization that did not have a place for educated, smart, brilliant, opinionated Native people. My Gammy broke barriers and she raised a strong family. So every day I try to do honor to her name and I try to create opportunities for other people. So join me family, let us remember our ancestors, let us rejoice in their lives. Let us move forward knowing that we are honoring their memory. And although they may not be with us any longer, that they're still watching over us and our adventures. And as long as we remember them in our hearts, all will be well. <laughs> I love you, Gammy. I miss you so much. <laughs> she was my everything family. I don't know. Do you have someone like that? <laughs> Do you have someone that was your person? <sighs> my Gammy was my person. <laughs> and I lost both of my grandparents during my PhD program. But I know but this year I'm gonna be Dr. Dre. And I know when I walk across that stage to get my diploma, that they will be with me there in spirit. So family, it's a brand new year. And if you have lost someone dear to you, 
This coyote sends my prayers and condolences to you and your loved ones. Stay strong, family. I love you, and I'm off to cause trouble somewhere else. <laughs>